Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Cleanse is available for Pace though. Oh, they hit two. Lahens does. So strong, Lahens. Let's see if he can keep Pace safe, who has also hit level 2. The stun is going to come in, and Pace in a lot of trouble. The max range handshake gets the job done, and it's first blood for aiming in the bottom lane. Textbook. In phase, you're playing not only into exhaust, but also into a map that's being split away from you. You're not really going to have the early pressure that you ideally like with the rumble. The Infernal Drake is full. About 18 CS, but I do think you don't contest this FGNG. I think it's nice that Genji are like, Hey, poking and prodding, can we get something going? We can't. Completely fine. Get a blade in mid. If this were challengers... Oh no, they... <laughs> We'd, we'd be quite fed at the moment as the handshake is perfect from Kellen and Lahens is in a lot of trouble here might have to flash away from this one He will commit to it. Will he even live though as flash over the wall? The Merc Red's not gonna help out in that case as Canyon is there and in fact Lahens survives So at the end of the day Gen G trading up in this one even with the Mercs not staying alive. Oh, uh -oh. Jovi. And they see him. Is it going to matter? The handshake is great once again, but Kellen is so incredibly low. He is. This is kind of opening up the map in a huge way because Kingan is just not here. Uh, I guess maybe trying to set up for a Rift Herald play, but Gen G's macro is so clean that they're like, okay, you want to set up for Rift Heralds? We don't do that. We don't handshake those objectives and say, okay, we're going to try to, like, Dilly dally around this objective and maybe like get a little skirmish. But it's a soul point nonetheless. Showmaker has his ultimate available, but they're very late. I think this is already gone. It's Can gone. they find the fight? Uh, well, I mean, Lucid, Lucid's running. Get into the pit, but he's going to have to. Yeah, he's going to get it. Okay. Gets into the pit, smites it away, and Jens are like, all right, sure, take it away. We don't want to fight you right now. And they're just going to let it go. So DK now on soul point of the Chemtech Soul job the comp position at yeah. uh, keeping you at, at arm's length and basically controlling a lot of space and saying okay gets hit it just shows the struggle like it shows the struggle of oh, oh god well speaking of struggling uh there's no fates call there's no flash there's no kellen uh he did survive there with the bait that's good right you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta band together again Oh, so, yeah, you gotta try something. We should have known that this was coming in. Now, Fate's Call is just all okay. right. Flash for flash. Trading flashes. I suppose that's good for DK. <laughs> As now, again, they're just keeping him at arm's length, and DK a are fight? like, well, we don't have engage. We don't have a way to get in there. The ult comes down from Showmaker, and they're just being poked out. Has a lick. In the bush. Does happen once again. Canyon does get hand shook quite a bit as. Yeah, that's going to be the end of Kellen. That was your engage, I guess, as now here comes Canyon with the R button, gets the job done. Well, actually, he gets the job done to himself, just dies immediately. And that'll be the jungler of Gen G comp. But they still have the pressure, and they're still going to continue the push. All according to Canyon's plan, dying there guarantees the most amount of turn. No, it was, uh, <laughs> it was him, him uh, going ham on Vi, got flashed into the enemy team when he was uh, in his ult. But it doesn't matter. They don't need Baron. <laughs> <laughs> what is this game, but man? The, like, the, the Bana actually come through. Nicely done from Hayes here as well, as walks out of the Equalizer, already has his ult at the ready, so he can't even auto-attack. Anyone in this team is Canyon. You know, we've all played by. We, we, we know what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, he's going to do it again. Lucid this time flashes on in, and this time it makes sense. Able to get away, but look at this frontline Canyon just being murdered as he goes down quite quickly to the damage of the TF and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that has been the game Maybe so far. One. All right, well, we do have a very funny looking handshake as now Jovi just gonna sweep him up and he just dashes away, but over the wall goes Showmaker, will collect oh. the kill. And now this dragon is quite scary, but he dashes away actually, as the follow-up does come in here and the damage from Paze and from Keen is too huge, the range as well. Just going to shell like artillery over there, Tom Kench. Picks up a kill. And now he got the straight position, but is able to stopwatch, also doesn't get hit by the ult and that uh, from Showmaker. And meanwhile, this time Canyon's going to send it, and you know what? He's kind of alone as meanwhile on the top side, Keen. Just getting on in there, they're gonna pick off Kingen. 
And yep. Canyon actually got out somehow. Yeah, that's TF. He got the Valor. Don't flip and don't let DK get back in the game that way. Look, they can just push. Yeah. They just get the inhibs and not care. And you see DK, they're going to try to force this one. Lahens, though, tanking up so much. And meanwhile, they're doing more damage to the five stack of DK. As now Canyon. Yeah, I think they're just going to stop the backs. As we do have the rumble, this is going to be smited down by Canyon. And yes, he gives his life, but he's giving his life to potentially win the game. And that is totally fine as the backs once again trying to come out here. We There's do no see TP. King in trying to get back into the base as a bunch of poking is coming down. Toby, meanwhile, is going to go down though as the bailout. Oh no, he did get devoured actually. As it will be Showmaker who gets taken out. And now Keen is here on the flank. He gives up. The push in mid just to rejoin the fight after taking out two Nexus turrets. And even King and on the player cam is like, what are you going to do about that? He was laughing because they are getting run around the map here. Oh boy. Yep. Flash over the wall and Keen is going to take that kill and you just regroup up in mid. I feel like the crowd is kind of stunned by what has happened here. It didn't feel like a normal game of League of Legends as Gen G will take game number one. Let it be known that we have Sonorous, a lot of pressure, and the objective is not to pick up the fight because you can't get, you know, rewarded for passive and TP off this. And then you look at like, how does this actually, how does this work? How does this, does this hit them? Uh, aiming and Kellen just going to respect it as in goes Kenny. It's level three and now he flashes in. Kellen going to flash away and now Lucid is here as we have a three on three aiming stepping up to this one. Can he get pretty low, but the damage out of the rumble is huge, as well as the Draven gonna get another flash out of this one. As uh, meanwhile, they're denying all of these minions under the turret. He's going back in. All right, is he gonna go for the play? He does not have flash. Lahens is so low, but yeah, down he goes. Oh man, the extension on the creep and like off and get the resets going early. And because of the early play, Lucid just now dink level five. So he's pretty substantially behind the curve of where you'd normally be if you just were able to clear continuously. And Genji, as expected, will be able to pick up what to do here. They won't actually go for that. Was King in? Yeah, the flash on in, and Keen is not going to respect it. Flashes, tries to get the kill off to King, but it will not happen. A 2v1 does pan out pretty well for D plus in the top side as now Kellen is left just to die. And uh, I guess Genji have the knowledge advantage. Oh, now they know. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. And now the Equalizer comes down. The exhaust is huge. But Canyon with the three-man stun comes over the top from the top rope and just dunks on them. Unfazed jumps in. Uh, started to make a play on top. All right. Nicely Ooh. done. Perfect alley-oop over to the side of Showmaker, who is going to hit the charm. After this is the way it goes sometimes. Oh, God. Keenus. Now the Hens is here. Uh... King, and remember, he's really low, took two turret shots. He might be able to delay it. Lucid on his way with Flash and Ult. He has a lot of sustain. Oh. He is going to make this a bit one-sided as the shutdown goes to the rumble. And Lahens might fight the bullet for this one as now Keen trying to get in here, but the charm is huge. And now Toby shows up and is going to trade one back. Ends up being a... Calm remember Pace ever playing Draven, but he has seven career games, uh, like a 57% win rate on it. I don't recall any of them, but... <laughs> Actually hurts? No, I mean the Chemtech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly Ox is just... Uh, Again? It's not trying. As now, Toby in a bit of a wonky spot, just being solo killed by King. In. Again? It was, uh, was about a year ago as... Oh, boy. It's the engage cone for Canyon. He gets on in, Kellen. Oh, nice bubble. Maybe going to be able to trade this one back with the TP. And in fact, they will. They're going to give that kill over to Aiming. Desperately needed it. But Hayes did pick up another kill. How does Genji actually play out fights as Lucid is behind them, but Canyon is on his way? Uh oh Going to spot him. And I didn't even notice it. It's like going the opposite way. Either way, now it's Lucid against three. And just one cast from Kingen is not enough. Yes, it does some damage, but... Really not enough as the exhaust and the bubble, but looking for if you are DK, try and get value out of this Ari level 11. Lucid has his ult not yet available. 
Yeah, it feels like a good time to fight, especially because Pei's not here at the moment. Tons of burst comes out from aiming, and it's stolen away by Lucid. This Rift Herald, and now they're going to pick up this eye as well. DK finding a lot of Going. value right now. Showmaker getting on in there. As Willie at the charm, yes, he will. Right in front of Canyon, and down he will go, just like that. And Kellen got the kill. He did it! Showmaker killed Canyon! <laughs> oh, well, uh, Kellen got the kill. But I, I, I'm crediting, uh, crediting that to Showmaker as he goes in. Oh, the charm gonna hit as well. And now Lucid, he is here on time. Might be traded back with the hands, but no. With Showmaker here, level 12. Go in. goes back in! And that's just gonna be a trade of kills. Lahens just... Oh. It's also like, playing this game out as Pays is so hard as... Ooh, Lahens not quite able to sidestep that one. Showmaker has just been... He's just been locked in, man. He just yeah. keeps hitting every... Way ...who has to navigate by... Uh, and Ari, which alone is hard, especially when you add Lucianami. But there's a fat AP Gragas in the game. Like, if you don't flash a cask and you just get knocked into the team, the amount of disruption that's available is amazing, and Genji, as they do. Certainly, he's earned it. Huge amount of burst damage with the AP Gragas already. As here is Showmaker, gonna get knocked away, but now Keen in a bit tr of trouble with Lucid here as well. Not able to sidestep that one. And it will be Showmaker to pick up yet another kill. Four men doing this to our junglers. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, this maybe over the last weekend, and you know, a so bit we've we've had Jack's jungle really come in stacks on a Majai's as well. So um, maybe gonna catch out Lahens here. He's gonna be forced to flash, and he might still go, go down. As now the damage is just too much over to the side of Showmaker, and that's just more stacks for him. Is he standing? Do some insane amount of damage. Canyon. Uh, just gonna get on in there and try to take out Kellen, but now Canyon is gonna be burst to smithereens by the Ari, who is just owning this game, and now Lucid is left out to dry. That's another kill over the Draven. And so Jen from Chovy, I he's done. Uh, Venice, but he might get collapsed on. The engaged cones coming on in. Chovy's like, wait, how are you there already? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's just dead. I mean, you press R, Showmaker's here, there's the charm, and Chovy will go down, and 700 gold given over to Showmaker. Ever. Yeah, no cease and desist, uh, desist for uh, Lucid, as now the damage is going to come out here from aiming. Lahens pretty big. low. Still has Equalizer, as this one will go the way of Gen G. They deny a soul and even get ahead on Drakes themselves. And this is still anybody's game. Comps aside. We're still very much enjoying D plus Kia's composition here, but even if they get Kingen, like who cares? D plus are gonna get this Baron. He's out! Kingen's out. And the damage oh. is being done to the Baron. They have no idea. Well, I think well, they know, and, well, it looks like they do. <laughs> they just can't woke up. They could have sworn have... they cleared out the vision and that they did. Alright. I take it back, DK. Flawless play. Um, all according to plan. The gentleman's battle. <laughs> <laughs> Side lanes are real! No. It's fine, they just poke. Oh, oh. Right. just get Toby! Just kill him, but no, the three-man counter-strike comes out from Cannon. Immediately traded back, though, as now 4v4 in this game, and Showmaker's still alive, still doing insane amounts. Not quite able to do so. Defensive play from Genji, so strong, so hard to crack. Oh, trying to get on in there, they press the R button onto Chovy and they take him out the damage from the RE just too much. And there it is, a double kill now for Showmaker as they get it done. That's the engage we were looking for as Showmaker getting very close to the sun is... Oh, man. Wait, return. Stasis? Oh. Woohoo! Just barely. It's fine. He's okay. Lahans almost has his ultimate available. And Redemption going to be huge. Keeps them all very healthy. And with five seconds left on the Baron, will they continue on the push is really the main question. It's looking likely, but now the minions are not buffed up. Still could look for a play when the Spirit Rush does come up to give this one over to the side of D+. I thought they did it, but apparently it's not It's not quite Lucid? done just yet. Lucid on a ward, unfortunately for him. Oh, yeah, he thought he was fine because the control yeah. ward just outside of range. Showmaker. Showmaker! Here he is. That should be a dead Lahens. Down he goes. And the follow-up damage is not good from the side of Gen G. But Canyon gets that engage, but he's in alone. He's going to go down. And now the massive range ult. Pays is going to be caught by the entirety of D plus Kia. That will be the end of this game. As well, we'll have to wait and see Gen G. Chovy trying to stop the 
Bottom lane and the and big wave. wave. There's no way. There's just no way, right? Chovy is going to live, but they could just push mid and end the game as flash forward from Kellen. He's not even going to get the kill. Oh, um, Guys, you can just end the game. You can just win. Just and, win. And that they will. Oh, boy. Showmaker showing up huge here. They on the R. And they end? I mean, they should be able to, right? Yeah, no, no, they'll, they'll be able to. Yeah, okay. The Nexus. Jeez. We're fine. You never knew until the Nexus was gone. And there it is. D plus Kia. They will tie up the series. Agency in the lane again. I want to be able to have Pryo. And Uder is the type of pick where if you execute it well with your level, uh, with your ultimate level one, right? You start storming, start running, start proxy, and take control of that wave. But hasn't been that something you're not. You're not contesting the first strike. It's not going to no happen. Way. Nope. Just let it go. And you know, we, we still have a chance for three Chemtech Souls in a row. What did we just do? Because well, it's going to five games. <laughs> it's about uh, what, 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 so still a chance. What, what did we do? Do we just go for the, the the five? Well, at that point, we yeah. We, we kinda, accept our fate. We want to commit, five. right? Yeah. Definitely not Tiger. Is the, the official name of it. Kellen does have to flash. A play here on a Jovi. This is up by and Ari. This is what you do. You get in, you press your R button on the mid laner, and then do as Lahans you are. Uh, I mean, maybe he gets a flash. He's really trying for it. Oh no, what? he's just gonna get the kill. Okay, you do have to flash. <laughs> uh, Showmaker's like, like, surely he doesn't do this. Lahans is like, no, 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 I'm doing this. Trust me. Not an all out and a play on the top side. No equalizer anymore. Uh, but there is a Sejuani here, Canyon also with no Glacial Prison. And this is an Udir. Uh, a lot of damage being done, though, by the side of Keen, and now King is pretty low on the play, and the stacking of the Permafrost. Genji, honestly, is Dragon's not that high value when the Chemtech Soul comes up. Oh, you're playing into Ari and Vi as well. They're running a risk here. Keen STP, King and doesn't. Oh, the Collapse coming on in, and uh, Showmaker not exactly winning that trade, so he's going to be zoned away, and... That's going to be the Drake over to them, and it's a third Chemtech Soul. I don't know if Gen Chi won actually contest this. They are making their way over. Knights by Dawn for Kane as well. Bit of a late contest here from the side of Gen Chi. Doesn't look like they'll be able to steal it or anything like that. Keen is just looking at them menacingly. Uh, get that happening as Kingen. He's tanky. Can he live against three people again? Uh, no, the answer will be again no, as Lahens this time will once again pick up the kill. Blood. They denied the mid lane turret being taken, so the Herald doesn't get that much value. He's aiming. Dang, running on forward. He is so fast. So difficult to get away from this one is Pays. is now Lahens on the run as well. And yeah, he's just going to be locked down. Not the disengage cone. Okay. Oh. It's a shutdown going to aiming on Zeri. Maybe a bit of a. Mini Zeri moments there. Okay, so I'm okay with them giving it up. Uh, the call is a little bit late, so Chovy can TP the top again to ensure that it doesn't go down, which is what I imagine will happen. Probably pushes bot side and then TPs towards top as Soul Point's gonna get taken. But realistically, uh, Soul going over to Gen G doesn't mean that much, especially not like obviously Cassante is gonna be a nuisance as a. Uh, not oh a. That TP was not good. <laughs> So that might just be another turret going over to Gen G up on the top side of the map. We have Pays there in the ruler spot, but he's like, I, I don't trust this. I I'm not a <laughs> banana brush. <laughs> I can't walk in. Yeah, and with the package held now, trying to get in on top of Jovi. The first damage is not there, and Showmaker on the flank trying to take up Pace here. They're low. It's pretty close, and with the Zeri, he's going to get the pick off. Showmaker does it again. He lives. And that pushes them away. So many low health bars here on the side of Gen G, and this Zeri still full health. He tries to get the pick. It's not going to happen. Again, it's a Zeri as the spike does go the way of Canyon, though. That is Kemtek Soul, but aiming, looking to have his moment. He wants to get his stamp over oh! the goes flashes into two of them. And will take out the one Jovi desperate. And he's just going to Valkyrie away to his death. It's a double kill, 6,000 damage for aiming. And D plus win the fight. And even with aiming's up being taken in the picture in picture, because he forces the rest of Gen.G to pull back. Lands outside of his ultimate, wasn't really able to have a big impact in that fight. And then Showmaker making it over. All of this is just setting up for the perfect opportunity mm. for uh, as, as long as Pace doesn't uh, make it close. It should be fine. And they will be able to pick it up. And that is a trade, I think, SDK. Given the amount of tempo they can build here in the mid game to 
try to get a big gold advantage before the Elder Drake spawns in four and a half minutes. Now though, last game we saw. Not the oh, oh Keen comes in and now Keen. Yeah, he's real tanky. Doesn't matter as he immediately gets burst down. The rest of the team not even there to help him. And D plus Pia. Look at this team right now. No one is that tanky as the poke from aiming strikes true. Uh, they don't have the wave though. <laughs> <laughs> now Kingen also extremely tanky. Oh, oh wow. Oh jeez. That was quite a lot of damage from the side of Toby. Man. More gold for aiming. Everybody on Gen G is like mid Set. or bot, and <laughs> aiming is just pushing top. And I yeah, Keen is very tanky, but like uh, is he? <laughs> <laughs> the point is, like, he can't clear this wave, so aiming can just walk up, take a turret. Nobody else is here, and Gen G honestly are not really responding to this pressure because they have. We do level 16 now. I imagine he's going to have void step done as well. His package use is going to be pivotal because, as mentioned, I think that at this point in the game, another free turret. And if Kingen is able to get his, I mean, Kingen can't really utilize his teleport advantage because you know he's a new deer. He doesn't push that fast. Also, he needs to soak damage in the front line here for his team. You want to try and time out this package. And the poke is not landing. Well, well I say that and it immediately lands. King in, in the front line, he's being burst, and they don't quite get through it. The redemption this time is right on time, and over the wall goes Toby. Got immediately, oh, he's doing so much damage with that equalizer, and that should be enough as Gen G routing them, but now on the dragon is aiming. Might be able to finish this off. Mike, can you go in? Uh, yeah, yeah. He just has smite. Okay, I guess that's it. That's just the way the game ends. Elder Drake is taken by Gen G. And the game will end. Aiming doesn't matter if he doesn't have a team to help well, him out. So, wait, wait, wait. There, you saw the attempt. Lucid and Showmaker try to flip it around on Chovy, and it doesn't work. They just end up going down. There's not enough space. Lucid, Showmaker are going to be coming in. I, I don't think they can defend here. I mean, Lucid's a Vi, like he's just going to be burnt to a crisp. There's Trying Elder Drake, wave. and one by one. Uh, yeah, they might be able to get lands here. Maybe, okay, they do, but yeah. It's, Waves here. They just uh, don't have an Nexus. Do it. That's going to do it. The Elder fight is won by Gen G, and so will the game be. Two to one now in the series. Action, because the whole breaker actually worked on this W. Now you have to toggle it, it's, it's a bit of a nuisance, but back then you just, it just worked. But yet, 20 seconds low of the turret could blow him up. Urgot into tanks, absolutely all in. <laughs> the amount of pro games I've casted where we had Morgan on Renekton in five manning as uh, early Drake is getting taken. And with this drop, I don't think either team is going to be looking to do a whole lot before level six. Uh, I mean, Genji is not looking to do anything for like, I don't know, 25 guys. Full Sunfire. <laughs> Wow. I guess he just needed a little bit of extra money as now the flash on in from Lucid. Canyon in a lot of trouble. You can't get away from the Vi as uh, desperate to get over to the right side, but he is absolutely dead. Their only question is who they give the kill over to. Lucid, don't take it away from Shobi. Out of armor. And he's a son of Sky as well, so. Yeah. Good call. There's run away. There's the cleaver that we were talking about earlier from Keen. Let's finish it now. Wonder if he's gonna go like more of a, which I imagine in pro is gonna be a lot more consistent. Go for like a bruiser style build where you end up with Starex. Uh, Jack shows obviously really good onto Urgot as well. As uh, early Drake, look at Keen as just a black clip. Uh -oh. oh, Pace! Any face checks here as Pace is in a lot of trouble, calling to the face, aiming. Gonna take him out with a little bit of help from Kellen. As a very nice time. Mistake from Pace there. Yeah. You might get Harold. I don't think DK is going to be too hamstrung. They might try to contest this, maybe. They do have King and maybe on a TP angle, but like you get it first turret blood. Aiming is getting fed. The gold lead is growing as a Lucid uh, realizes that the, the map, like Pace dies there because uh, if I was already roaming over, but Lance was actually on his way. Um. Can they actually kill the Urgot here? I mean, the lockdown from the leash, perhaps, as Redemption also coming in. Not quite fast enough from Lahens. Nice try, though, but a... Uh, get another knock up there as the Rift Herald is going to be pushing into the top side. Cannon to lock that one down. Lahens also here. And it's a three on two for now, but they're not going to crack the turret down. And it's also, as we know, very obnoxious once you get out of lane because you just don't die. And it has a lot of utility, unlike Udyr. So, feels pretty good. Could lead into an immediate Baron. Instead, DK effectively invests the TP. Oh, man. 
And pick themselves up a turret and a whole lot of damage <laughs> onto Pace. Yeah, he's he's still trying to scale. He, he's not being given many opportunities. Meanwhile, down at the bottom side by and LeBlanc put two and two together once again, and they take out Jovi in the side lane. I think Genji should contest. I think he should let this one go. Well, they're gonna try Lucid going for the blue buff. He's immediately going to be taken away and topped up by the Urgot. And that's going to be the end of that. That gives a chance now for Gen G to extend this game, to take the Drake, and to have a chance in the later stage of this one. Absolutely colossal mistake from Lucid there. Gets caught, not ready for the flash flip coming out from Keen. And that is going to be the soul point denied, and those early picks don't really get a whole lot. I love this, just got to pull the trigger, at least force the TP out of Keen. Yep. Just gonna start it up. Doesn't look like Gen Z are really noticing just yet, but it's pretty slow with only two. Now aiming gets over the wall. Now they know, but now. they don't have a great way to keep uh, Kenyon out. There is no... Wait, wait he can't flash. Uh, okay, it's just gone. Yep, DK gonna take it down. A great call from them, and meanwhile... The split push Rek'Sai? They're actually using it in free lanes! Feldas, they're learning right in front of our eyes! A 1-3-1 one, one. out of Z plus Kia with Baron? With the Baron buff? Uh-oh. Uh oh Pace. That's a little slowdown. That's the end of the Zeri in uh, just the span of a half a second. Down goes Pace. And now they can group up in mid. They can take out this inhibitor. They can rotate bot, take out that one. I think I smell the silver scrapes coming on here now. That's two inhibitors down. The Rebel Baron power play further extending. They might even try to push if someone makes a mistake, like and try and look for even more here. At the very least, should try and play for triple inhib. Lux Gen and, 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 and it's free one, and you're back in the lower bracket. Yeah. I also do feel like uh, aiming is just allowed to do whatever he wants in yeah. this game. Um, you know, it's a bit of a comp issue. It's also just the wall. Try to, to do anything is showmaker. He does have some aimable abilities, yes. As uh, Tidal Wave over the top, it's a bubble, and DK are like, nope, 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 nope. We are running away. Toby has other ideas, though, as there it is! They are going to take out the Nami, but that's just the Nami. Can they kill Rek'Sai? Nice. Have they overextended? Kingen is dead. And two pickoffs for the side of Gen G, with Baron up in 40 seconds. Guys! Okay, it's fine. There's two in the King and STP as well. A pick would be absolutely, absolutely huge. Lucid has flash and ult. Aiming's there as well. Oh, they know where he is. They're gonna, they're gonna try and go for this. 100. percent Yeah. God, things are coming in, and oh God, Toby trying to get so far away, but with three members, they take out Toby, and the pick is successful right before. So I think Silver Scrape is coming up. <laughs> There's only one lane left, and DK aren't wasting too much time with this one. As they push on forward, the poke is coming out. That's three inhibitors down now. But the other two are coming up here in about 10 seconds. We do see D plus Kia trying to rotate over and take those down. They want to get the full, safe, three-lane victory. Maybe pick up an Ocean Soul if they feel like it. But don't even necessarily have to do that. Let's see what they decide on as Redemption. Very desperate. Argenti trying to stay alive in their base. Oh, DK. <laughs> they want to get to a game five so badly. They don't want to walk. All flashes are up outside of Lahens, and I don't think his is the one you're afraid of. Ah, oh, there it is. Aiming, ready to press his buttons. Takes him out. Excellently timed and aimed. Calling. And that'll be the end of Canyon and the end of the three inhibitors. They slowly but surely push in to these Nexus turrets and are looking to bring us to Silver Scrapes. <laughs> three inhibitors down. Very slowly. Very slow. Extremely surely. We are not taking any risks, Feldes. We are playing it safe. Yeah, and no reason to as the flash away from Keen and the engage comes in. There's the Zeri with the old. Both Nexus turrets are down. They take out the Vi, and they will hold on to their Nexus for now. Down will go Rek'Sai as Keen also going to survive once again. Okay, guys, we either commit or we don't. Uh, okay. T bars on these three members. TP. If King bottom. and Lucid go in, you have to commit. Toby is committing. He is not going to be let down. Takes away the Nami, but only the Nami. Okay, there's no way. Oh, Showmaker should be able to make it out. Uh, yes. He I doesn't have distortion, does. and he's spotted. Over the wall he goes. Mimic is up in like two seconds. Okay, he's going to hop back and just, just choose to oh. take out the hands. Okay. The heal from Grim Bloom. 
Hey, he's still gonna die. Kayan's gonna find him. Oh, not the plant. Oh, God. And, okay, they finally get it done. Okay. Meanwhile, I, I, it shouldn't matter, Valdez. Truly, uh, the game is just over, right? Three inhibitors are down. Three inhibitors are down. It shouldn't matter. They shouldn't. Aiming, just stay alive. Uh, we're fighting. Uh, we're gonna try to fight into aiming. Lucid oh and Showmaker Nexus. and Kingen are just sending it into the Nexus. This isn't enough. I'm not so sure. The autos are coming in. The sweep away. away. And Showmaker's so low. And the last couple of autos will get it done. V plus Kia in very tense fashion. We'll Even lane state as all oh, Red White really trying to pressure this one as the flash comes in, immediate cleanse and flash out of aiming. But now we've got Toby and he's up against the wall. Aiming will go down and Kellen as well. Ooh, he's going to let the pace goes down to him. Definitely not what you were hoping for, but at least they got the kill on. There are no uh, ults available here. For Chovy. Chovy's just not really doing damage right now. As now he has to flash over the wall. And Showmaker's like, okay, cool. I mean, take a look at the items here from Chovy. He's got tier two uh, cooldown boots, essentially, yeah. and that's it. So <laughs> <laughs> it's boots of lucidity. That's not enough. Three where they kind of lost it against package. And yeah. that was the naming's fault. <laughs> um, here we go. Alt's going to be utilized here as immediately Pays and Lens just turn tail, but now TP coming in. A lot of damage already done to Pays and Lens. He's just going to cleanse here away from the root as now Chovy goes over the wall. And now Aiming is in a lot of trouble, gets knocked into the rocks. And now Kellen left for the fishes as well. Double kill over to Chovy, who's making his presence felt in the bottom lane yet again. Chovy being the difference maker. And so no way to outplay that. You can't walk your way out of that one. Yeah, like Showmaker has done many a time. And now Showmaker's getting in there. Again, he's pretty tanky. The Lucid all comes through and Chovy gets shut down. The kill will go over to Lucid. It's now Canyon running away from the Zeri. Tons of damage. Disregards the fact that there's a Sejuani there and does end up giving his shutdown over to set Sejuani, which is not ideal uh, for DK. This isn't like a Vi where you're like, you know what, there's value. <laughs> he's... he's not going to be that type of champion. Trying to fight over this one. Should I mean, be gone. They don't have Chovy, so Infernal Soul for game five. Just so passes swear, don't stack in League of Legends. Swear fealty to one person, <laughs> Valdez. Outside of this lore story you're telling. <laughs> um, so Gen Z, they're going to make a play here for the Rift Herald, and it doesn't look like D plus Kia have any interest in fighting over that. He doesn't lose it. Lucid just going for a... Uh, <laughs> it's fine. He's just gallivanting out there on his Poro. Here we go. Gonna get that engaged, but immediately Canyon is going to get cleansed. And now with the wild growth, should be okay. As here comes Chovy over the top. Lucid in a bit of trouble. The knockup comes in and the stun as well. But now Showmaker. Showmaker jumping into the back line. Might be able to take a pace. Not quite able to, but here's Kingen looking for the back line. And the fight extends. This is where D plus Kia, they will thrive. As meanwhile, Showmaker just being bullied by Keen. And the kite back comes through from the side of Gen G. Nobody else will die. He has his wall. I feel like if DK just started up though, like get mid and then run towards that dragon. Oh, and man. they're gonna get the mid tier one. Oh so, yeah, this is pretty huge. That's that's gonna. I think Genji. Don't get me wrong. I think Genji's making the right call. I was just worried about yeah. DK actually doing it, and they are. I'm not sure why Keen is watching them do it. Uh, he's not gonna steal it on Cassante. Uh, there is Infernal away. And there's a Talia in the vicinity. Jovi okay. has been doing a great job of making his presence felt. But look at this, Lehens caught out on the left side. He's going to wild growth himself and try to run away. Slowed. Slow comes down and he is dead. Flash on in from aiming. He is not messing around. And Showmaker gets the pick on the pace, but they can't get to the back line. Lucid pretty low as Keen trying to do Cassandra. Kayan will not go down. Finally gets taken out, but they have not dealt with Showmaker or aiming, who are still on the chase. Canyon. Looks like he is totally going to be left out here. And right? OK. Yeah, he's dead. They down he goes. They give the kill to Showmaker. I think they try to give the kill to Aiming, and they're like, let's let's take him down. We, we need to make sure. A ton of punish potential available here for Gen G with a single overstep. And if DK ever commit to a fight and don't actually kill, uh -oh. it's, oh. <laughs> uh, they know. They got to know. They got to know, right? No, they don't quite know as Canyon 
shows up, babe, but the damage is not taken out, aiming. they finally get it done. As Showmaker, he needs to be the carry now, but Toby's in the back line. The damage is being done, but look at King and flashing on top of the Talia. Might be able to do it. Keen is going insane mode in that back line himself, and the knockup comes in from Toby to seal the deal on the team fight. That's a team fight win there for Gen G. Chovy doing absolutely ungodly amounts of damage. D plus, I think you're in a position to, if you get King in on a flank, Chovy. Maybe go for this, but he knows. I, and DK, they don't have the position. Yeah, I, uh, well, maybe. Uh, okay, Lucid doesn't get over the wall, but I, I realistically don't think he's going to start it. He's, he's spotted them vision. Absolutely, they should. Well, now absolutely they, have vision. they should. Now they have vision. Can they do this fast enough? Is really oh, the next question. And are we going to flip? Surely, there is a rel. It's Lucid. not really a flip. He's going to put his nose in there. We do have a wall that is put down. The Glacial Prison gone. And now the Engage coming over the wall, aiming into that back line. Excellent dash away and flash from this one. And now the chase comes in. Toby in a lot of trouble. The Moonlight Vigil does nothing. And now Kingen is going to be trapped over the wall. And Showmaker! And Showmaker makes the play. Gets over the wall. But now he's going to go down. Aiming's alive, though. And once again, we reset. It's 3v3. And nobody can do Nothing the Baron. Nothing happens! Nobody can do the Baron. And take the soul, and then let the Baron go. Gen G, though, they don't want to let it get to, uh, that far. They have control of the pit. Yeah, there is vision of this. They do know this is happening. As DK, once again, they threaten a fight. Wall is going to come down. Chovy is safe. The ult goes wide, and Gen G will pick up the Baron. Here comes aiming on the follow-up, though. The flank comes in from Kingen. Not the best flank, as now Canyon going in alone. Canyon! The massive damage in that back lane. They don't get off the pace, though, as Showmaker stopped in his traps, and he will not get a significant knockup. And now Aiming has to do it one before he might be able to. He might just be able to, and he gets over the wall. They know they're down a member. Gen G, they're going to win the fight. OTP and towards top side. Yeah. Not going to happen. They're just going to try and run out this <laughs> Baron timer. All right. And, uh,. Man, Gen G, they, they must feel pretty good about the way things went, all things considered. I mean, you get a Baron, you get another Infernal, and you've got this wall coming up here. And looking to catch out Lucid, kind of an awkward spot for him. He is going to be 100 to 0 And that giant Cassante, nobody can shoot through that. And here comes the push. They still have the Baron buff for a minute. Might even try to look for the ends. Aiming does have his flash available. They have McKills. Is it enough though? Kingan doesn't have a Surreal does yet. We'll see if Genji wants to run the risk, because if you overextend here, end up getting wiped. These type of positions, though, this is dangerous. We've seen teams lose, being this far, but look at the, look at the vision control here for Genji. Immaculate, no TP ward. Just disgusting, you can just start it. There's no vision here. They get a trinket in, and yeah. DK say no. We don't want to fight over this. The, the problem is because the wave in top isn't shoved in. Like, they, the rather is shoved in for Genji. Genji can just rotate towards top. They make it work. Pace taking a lot of poke already. Yeah, already taking a bit as they're going to go all in onto Lucid. That's not the target. The Moonlight Vigil is pretty good, though. As Redemption does come in, aiming, aiming getting so low. extremely low on that backside. Oh, the knockup comes in on the King, and he's flashing away. He knows what it means if he gets caught. But the Cassante, you can't get away from him. And down will go King, and the team just will not commit on the side of DK. They're just going to give comes. another Drake over to the side of Genji. Aiming's too low. There's no way that's going to be for a Drake going over. Oh, if, if they come back, they might just be able to end up with this. Yeah, they can't back. Showmaker totally caught here. No! Flash Polymorph, he is done for. Is that it? That Seconds. I don't know if they can hold here. I that might just be it. Seems there you me do some crazy things in my life. But I don't think that it can do this one. Eight seconds on Kingen. Do you have enough time? Do you have enough wave clear to make it through? No! And survive. Pays moving forward. Keen trying to tank up now, just going to assassinate onto the Zeri, but now, here comes Kingen, and the flash away is going to do it. Kingen had to flash away in the last fight, and now aiming, he's alive, he's still trying to stay this one, but it's not going to matter, the Nexus goes down, and Gen G will win game number five. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.